Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and tonight I'm going to show you how to basically do the intro and the outros like I do them inside OBS. So inside OBS, you've got two different things. You've, you've got the standard view like this, which is the one that I did the uh, tutorial on four, no, th three years ago. That's whenever I was doing like the how to do things. Um, click on studio mode. And what this is, on the right hand side here, this is what's recording right now. Um, well, not right now, right now, because I mean, I'm recording on OBS as well. I've got two versions of OBS open. But this is what <laughs> is currently being fed into the recording at the time of recording. So what I do is I've got scenes set up over here on the left hand side. The first one's called blank. Literally, there's no source in there. I've got my mics turned off, said and done, boom. All right. And I always make sure that that's cut and in the first scene. When I'm ready to start recording, I come down here and I hit the start recording button. Why does that say stop recording? Hmm. I don't know which one I'm actually recording. I guess they're both recording. Oh, okay, cool. That'll, that'll work. <laughs> Anyhow, um, I hit the start recording button and then I instantly come over here and I do a cut. So what this does, this cuts in the actual scene. You're not actually seeing this. This is this is the second OBS. Once that fades out or the, the bing happens, I switch over to my Roblox scene, which has all of these set up, and I fade that in. Um, you're, again, you're not going to see anything. I don't have Roblox open, and I'm already using my video source, so you can't see it. Once I'm done with that and I do the whole outro, I literally I come back over to OBS, I select my outro, and I hit cut again again the outro is just a media source file pointing to the video that i've got set up so i hit cut boom and then my little avatar starts playing and and that is an actual video that i set up inside uh blender for doing the whole outro it's a video file that i'm playing live while recording once it gets done playing i come over here and i select my hello juniper which is the the advertisement for my merchandise i hit cut again there it all goes. Good, good, good. And when I see that that stops, I hit stop recording. Now I'm not going to hit stop recording right now because technically I'm recording this. So that's how I do the, the live feeds. And to do that, you just simply click at the, the, like create a new scene over here called blank. Don't put anything in it. Create another scene called intro. Come over, hit the plus button and select um, media source file. Select your intro. Um, it might not be full scale on the screen. So if it's not just right click and select, um, transform and stretch to scene. That way it'll stretch your whole video out to the size that you're recording, whatever your canvas is. Anyhow, um, that's pretty much it. That's how I do the, the live recordings. And that's how I do the, the intros, the outros, the transitions, the fades, stuff like that. I mean, I even have like um, the, the, whenever I'm streaming, like the, the stream, um, I'll start streaming and then I'll fade that in. And that's, that's just a screenshot that was made by Kylie, Kylie, Ky, this person long time ago. I mean, this was like fan art before I got the headphones and the, the wings first avatar render that I'd ever seen. So, I mean, shout out anyhow, that's, that's it. Just thought you guys should know. It's it's been asked a lot of times from me, so I'm going to select that my outro on the actual recording now, and outro. Thank you.